Revenge games are good. Revenge wins are better. Let's go and try and get one in the cup against Dundee as we once again go beyond blue Brazil. Welcome in. It's time to once again step into the next round of the Premier Sports Cup. A round we have fallen more often than not in recent years. We take on Dundee. They beat us last season at the end of the season in the playoffs. Stopped us from getting up to the SPFL. So of all the SPFL teams we could have drawn, Dundee's one of the weaker sides. We know that. We've beaten them before in the Premier Sports Cup. We have not beaten them when it comes down to the important games, the knockouts. So... We go into this a little apprehensive. I'm still feeling relatively confident for the season. A big part of that is we've uh, picked up a 2-0 win over Airdrie in our next game. Uh, Jakubiak with the penalty and Butterfield with the goal on the 77th minute. Unfortunately, Cole McKinnon did pick up a little injury. Uh, and then in the following game, um, we actually we have to play our uh, backup wing back, unfortunately, because Cole McKinnon is out for a number of weeks. Uh, as Jakubiak again with a goal. Uh, Luca got a goal, which is good. We need to see more from him this year. And also Hessenthaler uh, in a 3 1 win over Rafe. Um, we dominated them. They scored very late in the 92nd minute. Consolation goal type thing. Very happy how we have started this season. As you can see, I'm um, Salem with a very good performance there. That guy is a rock. I mean, he's going to be so important to us this season. Uh, with the defenders we have. I feel like we, we do have that base that allows us to attack a little bit more. I just wish we maybe had the the quality in terms of wing backs, but um, hopefully what we've got is good enough to get us through. So we take on Dundee. They've beat us three times that we've played them. They've knocked us out in this round before, which I completely forgot about. That hurts. We obviously beat them the following. Uh, we beat them in the Premier Sports in the actual group stage. Again, I think a big part of that is when we enter that that group we're often very fit and I don't think the SPFL teams are at that stage of the season and then obviously very disappointing losses now this is a home fixture so let's see let's see how we get on but I really want to get past this stage like keep falling at this hurdle is it it wears on a man I'm not saying like well we should be making quarterfinals or semi-finals by any means but I think we've got to step up and um, deliver something here. Uh, we've picked up a couple more players. We actually picked up uh, two uh, loanees from Hearts. Hearts are our new senior affiliate. We've picked up Stuart Gay to play uh, centre-back. I might actually have him train um, to play right-back, which I'm already doing, which is good. Uh, we're lo still looking a bit light at right-back. And we've picked up Aidan Denholm, who I think is a very good option centre midfield attack. Uh, we've got a couple of players there who play that position now, but given that we, we get a lot of games sort of like close together, um, I think it's a good area of depth for a centre midfield now. So we brought him in. Um, he's more attack minded than our players and he's, he's good enough to play for this our team and start. So I'm pretty happy. Now, what I didn't think about was how tired our players were going to be for this game. So now, that confidence I just spoke about, it's been knocked. Kyle Semple, and I think we're just going to call him Big Dan. I think this is one of those moments where you just go, I, I'll give up on the full name, and we'll just make it a, bit, a little simpler for us. Because I'm I'm just I'm falling over myself. So Big Dan and, and Kyle Sample, unfortunately. A little worn down. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I'm gonna put Fraser Mullen on the bench instead. Um we're gonna go with Stephen Ross up top along with Owen Moffat, because Jakubiak's got a bit of a fitness issue. Hessenthaler and Denholm. So Denholm making his debut in midfield. Hessenthaler continues box to box midfielder. Chalmers is our DLP. Dane Murray, the defensive midfielder. Milo and Walters will be our wingbacks. Uh, Gay and Ashcroft in the centre. And Jason Steele in goal. 
I'm actually going to go revert back to our old style cautious um, Brazilian box for this game because I just don't think we've got the players to go and really take the game to Dundee. So let's see how we get on here. Um, is there maybe anything I'd like to change? I think we'll work the ball into box and we'll pass in space and attacking wave will go narrow, but the rest we'll probably keep it and adjust as the game goes on. Milo's going to have to play through some fitness issues. We just don't have a left wing back to cover that position. I am currently in talks with Aberdeen about getting a wing back in, so we will we'll try and get some depth in before the end of this window. It would be our last loan spot, but it would be a big one if we can get in just for depth. Make a difference, make a difference, make a bloody difference. Really hoping for... Well, really hoping for the win, obviously, not anything else is secondary. Want a good performance, obviously, but make it another round and possibly set up a tie versus one of the, the big dogs would be good. Moffat's off hurt, and will Dundee take advantage of this? Hackett lays off to Jones. I felt like we were going to come across and get that. We've managed to sort it out with the back, but with Moffat off hurt, and us not having a lot of options on the bench, that is very concerning and we only have one lone spot left so um Harrison might have to come on here it's a, it's a big a big loss if he is out um long term or even short term they hit the bar Milo gets it clear pops it forward Ross is chasing it now can Moffat rebound we're going to give him a chance, and it looks like he is maybe rebounding. I'm going to encourage the team just a little bit here. Right, Chalmers, this is our big opportunities. Lifts this one in, it's headed away. Hessen Fowler going to drop deep, pick this up, get back to Chalmers. I'd like an early delivery. Sizes it up, pulls it back to Hessen Thaler. Murray, down here. Walters, then home. Let's see what you can do. Walters again. The youngster, he's all paced, hasn't really got good crossing, but that's a good crossing, Moffat finishes, he's back on the field, and he's swept that one in the bottom corner, we take the lead against Dundee, and it's all down to the, the crocked Owen Moffat, and really nice play from Walters, who I just said couldn't cross. Now, this is an interesting debate for you in the, ch in the comments, crossing attributes, in when it's low like that, is it does that matter? Is that a cross? Is that a pass? What one does it draw from? I'd like I'd like you to sound off because I always think when it's like that, um, low like that, it's more to do with his passing than his crossing because his crossing attributes so low that could have gone anywhere. Good header down. Denholm hooks this one. Great touch by Ross. Back to Hessenthaler. That's lovely football. Finds Chalmers. Denholm again. Four to Moffat. Oh, he lunges in. Moffat, beautiful turn. How Moffat? Oh, I thought Moffat was going to continue, and there's a missed tackle by Walter. Moffat had me for a spin there, not just a player. But now, they're coming forward, Jones now. Hack it, got to be careful, ball in behind, Jones is there, keeper comes out, hits the post and steal, retains the ball. Good goalkeeping or manic moment? I don't know. Really don't know. I don't think it was good goalkeeping. Oh, Walters is injured. He was having a good game. Fraser Mullen enters the fray. Fraser Mullen is meant to be for moments of emergency, and this is one. Oh, both of our wing backs have been taken out. That's surely going to have a knock on effect for our season. We were doing well, but losing a wing back who was playing well is a bit concerning. I'm going to tell the wing backs to maybe go support because I just feel like um, well, Milo's not playing great and now Fraser Mullen's on. Fraser Mullen doesn't have the pace that Walters has. Walters' entire reason for bringing him in is all, all stemmies around how much pace he has. Eggbo just nods over. So without that it's a bit concerning, right? We need Milo to pick it up. I'm gonna incur I'm gonna demand more of him. Moffitt's continuing to play alongside Ross Hessenthaler. Murray's a little worse for wear as well. I don't think I've got anybody. I could take on Luke Butterfield, maybe. In a defensive role, I don't know. I'm gonna bring on Luke Butterfield, good header away by Ashcroft. 
Can you close that down? I'd like to make a change, but I'm worried. Hack it, McMullen. <gasps> what happened there? Offside. Oh my god. That was that was scary. Um Chalmers and Butterfield are gonna swap. So Butterfield's gonna play as a DLP defend, which he doesn't really like. I just leave him there. Essenthaler for Butterfield. Then swap them back. That's the better option. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep uh no, I'm gonna put gonna take the risk. We're gonna put him as the um we put Barfield as the centre midfield attack because he does he does score a lot of goals from that position. Look at our midfield, we're absolutely roasted. Left back, I, I haven't got anybody. I ain't got anyone who can come on. Moffat is rinsed. Milo with a decent header away. But I might just play into them, steal with the save. I'm going to take on Alice Harrison. Oh, I think we need to start trying to just Calm this game right down. If possible. It's a set piece. McMullen. Pulls it in back post. I'm guessing that was going that went out of play. Looked like it was it was dipping, but McMullen again. Far side. He's had that one just past the post. Oh boy, five minutes to go. Hackett, it's all them right now. It lifts it across Egbo. Oh, Steel just has to make that save. Has to make that save. Very disappointing. Ah, oh, man. Stuart Gay gets beaten in the air. Encourage. Ah, oh, what do we even do here? I think we've got to distribute it long if we do get the ball again. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. Sweeney, we've got to stop this. I'm not going to... I'm going to cry. Hack it. No. Oh, God. Egbo. Just someone stop this. <gasps> oh, What? What is that? There wasn't even a foul. I'm sorry. There wasn't a foul. What has just happened? What happened there? We've got to throw everything forward. I am absolutely stunned. There was not a foul there. Can anyone explain to me what just happened? I didn't see a foul at all. I didn't see a foul at all. We'll have to go back. No way has this just happened. Eggbo. It didn't show us that. <sighs> what a way to lose it. We were in position to win with not even remotely our strongest side. And it's all fallen apart later on. Steel can be a fault for the first goal, but Stuart Gay. Just makes a, a terrible challenge, I'm guessing. It says colwell has gone down far too easily. He f dived. And we've seen this. I don't want to see it again. It's going to show it to me again, isn't it? Yep. Incredible. Oh, knocked out again. The revenge game has gone completely pear-shaped. I know they, they came on to us and it was they were much more aggressive second half, but I still don't think we deserve to lose that. I thought we defended well right up until the point where 
just everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. That is devastating. Not remotely happy. We get 41k for that and it's... It wasn't worth it to get through the group stage, to top the group, to beat Aberdeen, and you play Dundee and then... Two late goals and one of them just complete rubbish. Complete rubbish. Not happy. Not remotely happy. With injuries hitting us hard, um, we go in the Kilmarnock game a little apprehensive. If we just take a quick look at our team now, we can ignore Jay Crawford, um, who's out on loan but injured. Cole McKinnon's hurt um, is out. Two to five weeks. Owen Moffat now out one to three days. He will actually probably be back, although probably not full fitness. Um, Declan Smith and Walters actually will be back in time as well. So it's maybe not as bad as I first feared. Um, as you can see with some of the ratings of our low knees, things aren't going very well for them, but um, that's kind of what we expect. And here we go. Kieran Nguenya, left back, um, coming in from Aberdeen. A bit of a, a physical lad. I haven't fully scouted him. We need him in. We need some depth there. He will get game time this season. Let's see how good he will be. I hope that that is a good sign. He's 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 okay. Fringe player. He he's in for to play backup. So I think that's okay. Let's have a quick peek at him. Very physical, heavy, right? Passing and crossing is not his thing, but the pace and that that'll work for us. We can get something from him. We'll we'll get him working on his crossing. Rangers will be knocked out of the Premier Sports Cup. I mean, we're not in it anymore, but that's don't mess with Livingston. <laughs> oh man, would have been nice. To be in the cup a little bit longer, maybe. I really can't dwell on that result because if I do, it's almost definitely going to flow over into the Kilmarnock game. And what we want is to show up, play Kilmarnock, play to our best. And if we can get a win, that would be delightful. We've slowly but surely been get improving our, our backroom staff, but now it looks like we don't have a goalkeeping coach, which has surprised me. I thought we would have had somebody. We don't have anyone for goalkeeping coach. Right, that's an oversight by me. We are still a semi-pro side, and it is very clear. Like, there's no... There's no doubt about that, like when you look at our staff and stuff like that. So this is my 200th game in charge of Cowden Beef. Let's make it one that we're going to remember. Kilmarnock are third, we are currently second. This is a big game very early in the season. You know, we don't really know how our season's going to unfold from this point, but hopefully with the players we have, and given that we just went out of the cup and we had to rest players for that game, I'm I'm wanting to put our best possible team here. Oh my god, I've, Big Dan expects us to get strengthened in goal. Honestly, don't know if we can do that. I didn't know we promised him to do that. Oh god. Now everything is about getting a better goalie. Because we can't have Big Dan unhappy. Please, someone who's unattached and way better than what we've got be kicking around here. Anyone transfer listed who would be better? Jack Layfield used to be very good um, in past FMs. Not this one. Not good at all on this one. Oh, he's ridiculous. Can't We can't get an hour alone, can we? Can we? That can't be right. Could that be right? If so, I've absolutely walked into an upgrade. 
there by accident. Right, we're going to go with the positive mentality here. Uh, Steele continues in goal. Milo, left wing back. Jeff King will come in right wing back. Semple and Big Dan at the back. Chalmers, Murray, defensive midfield. Hessenthaler and Denholm will keep his spot at centre midfield attack. Moffat and Jakubiak up top. And let's just make sure we've got someone who can play right wing back on the bench. And that'll be Fraser Mullen. And we'll take off Ellis Harrison. So we've got uh, Mullen, Butterfield, Gay, Ross, Luca, Ashcroft and Archie Mayer on the bench. Strong looking bench. Strong team. Right wing backs are concerned. But I, th I feel like we've got to try and take the game to Kilmarnock here. We're at home. We got much better centre backs um, this season. Uh, yeah. Centre backs don't make the team by any means, but gives us a strong base. So let's go for it. Oh man! So the thinking behind picking Jakubiak to be the deep line forward is that is going to be really his best role now. The other Owen Moffat and Ross much better as advance forward. Um, Owen Moffat can play deep line forward, so there might be a point where we switch and we go with Ross and Moffat as the front two, but. I thought I'd let Alex come back in and see if he can uh, see if he can add something to the team here. We've picked up our booking very early on. I'm gonna tell him to calm down. Kilmarnock gonna try and play this one out from the back after a, a short throw in. I mean, it's it's annoying that we're playing in blue and white and they are also playing in blue and white, regardless of the stripes. Murray moves out wide to King. Now King is in just by the fact that we I wanted to rest the youngster. Great ball forward. Moffat gonna chase this one. Oh the What? Wow. Oh. That was different. What a finish from Palmer and then Walker. I don't know what the keeper's doing there. We take the lead. We haven't had a shot on target. We have taken the lead. See, that there makes me feel like we go back. Lewis, strap. Oh, no. Essenthaler. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Just get a lot. I just got a bit scared. I'm going to leave it positive. Moffat. Holds up. He can't make the pass. Picks it up. Lifts it in the middle. Jakubiak nods it down. Denholm. Sends it just wide. Let's stay positive. Believe in the team. Haven't hit the target yet. We are working the ball in the box. We haven't hit the target. We're 1 0 up. Four shots. Nothing on target. 1 0. Uh, well done for controlling possession. Um, let's keep that up. I think we will go balance now. It's interesting. Dane Murray's not having a great game. I think I might pull him off. Uh, I'm going to take on Luca, and we're going to do a little swap about. So Hessenthaler will drop back. We'll bring Luca forward. We'll leave Den home as the centre midfield attack right now. Moffat's coming off as well. Stephen Ross is coming on. Milo. Luca tries to cross it. It's going to come out to the Kilmarnock man. Just focus, lads. Do not make it easy for them. I'm worried about a run through the middle and like a, a, a deep ball from right wide. Good header from Big Dan. Palmer able to pick it up. Plays it forward to St. Chair. No, St. Clair. Jesus. By a Turton, Robinson. I just want to get this get this out. I want it away from our our third. <laughs> Lifted in, headed over. Thirteen minutes remaining. Stephen Ross now coming on for Owen Moffat. Denholm's not having a great game either. We're gonna take him off. We're gonna take on Luke Butterfield. I was I was wanting to unleash Fraser Mullen, but I just feel like we maybe don't need to. Big Dan now on the ball. Essenthaler lifts it forward. I mean, just it's foolish. It's foolish from our, us at the back. They've popped it forward. I can't believe that's just happened. 
What is that? What just happened there? Why? Why can we not hold it together? Oh, come away. We need a new goalie. That's dreadful. That is bottom drawer. That is horrendous. Not even remotely happy with that. That is just awful. And the fact is, we haven't hit the target this entire game, so we're lucky to, have, to even have a goal, but that is not acceptable. Steele now, he's going to have to go long. He better not even think about rolling this out. Especially not rolling it out behind him. He rolls it at Big Dan. Big Dan's going to have to pop it forward. There's nobody there. There's no one there for him to kick it. Why is the keeper rolling out to Big Dan? He's got to think they have to be able to make those kind of the right decision themselves. I can't hold their hand. I'm not putting on a million player instructions and team instructions just for the keeper to do the right thing there. He should be able to do it himself. Jakubiak hits the crossbar from distance. Come on. Such a tease. Great tackle there. Keeping the ball nice to the back, but we need the ball forward. That's a bad pass. Well dug out again. They've lobbed it forward. Milo takes it down. He lobs it back. Asking a lot of Ross. I mean, he's an advance forward. It, he's not going to win that in the air at all. Right. God, this is back and forth. Ross now. He's a bit far wide. He needs some help. Pulls it back. Milo drives it in. Then home. Ross. Oh, it's absolutely painful. It's absolutely painful. Now, this is a team we're going to be competing all, all season with, hopefully. But we have not... We've not been clinical enough. We haven't hit the target nearly enough. Simple. Why would the highlight end there? We had the ball. A simple five-yard pass to his, like, right-hand side, and we are in. Jakubiak, Ross. Oh, it's a great save. Denholm! That's another great save. Somebody just put it in the back of the net. We need a new goalkeeper because that's what a goalkeeper can do. A goalkeeper can keep you in games you don't deserve to be in and that sums up their goalkeeper a day. He has kept them in that. We should have buried them. Even late on. We weren't hitting the target early on but we had multiple chances late to win it. Disgusting. Proper disgusting performance from us. Um, especially when you look at our goalie. Just not good enough. I know we need a new goalie. I, we don't have the money. They're, they aren't available. There isn't a goalkeeper better than this one available. And we don't have the money to make one available. Unless this guy turns out to be brilliant. Which I don't think he will. No. He's not good enough. What are we going to do? I really don't want to see Big Dan mad. Well, we got that problem to deal with next time. Got him. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Comments and feedback. Um, welcome. Likes on the video also help. Uh, the algorithm, I'd appreciate it. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's a tough set of results there. Over them, I felt like we should have won. The Kilmarnock game, we got very lucky in with the goal, but not able to, to score against their goalie, and then our goalie basically not doing anything good is pretty disappointing. Um, I don't know what to say. We're, we're really in trouble goalie-wise. I might start playing Archie Mayer, see if he's got, if he's better than uh, Steele. It just hasn't worked out. You need good money to get good, good goalies. And we ain't got either. So join me next time when we once again go Beyond Blue Brazil. Pain, nothing but pain.